There have been 89 Heisman Trophy winners, almost half of those were quarterbacks. You may recall some of the greats, Tony Dorsett, Barry Sanders, Cam Newton, Tim Tebow, but what about Jaden Daniels? Would you think I'm crazy if I told you that he is one of the greatest Heisman Trophy winners ever, if not the best? You must be thinking that I'm either crazy, delusional, or both. Maybe I am, but that isn't the point. Jaden Daniels was better than great, and you may not agree with me after this video, but you'll at least see why many people think that he is one of the greatest players in the history of the sport. Since the 1950s, the passer rating, also known as the passing efficiency rating, has been used as a measure to determine the quality of quarterback play. This statistic was originated to develop a better system to crown the best and most efficient quarterback in the NFL. In 1971, NFL Commissioner Pete Rozelle had the league's statistical committee develop something that would better establish the passing performance of a quarterback. Thus, the passing efficiency rating was born. Taking a look at the best individual seasons in college football history, we can see how some of the best quarterbacks to ever step on the collegiate field compared to their peers. As you can see, you've got some guys like Trevor Lawrence, who had a passer rating of 169.2 in 2020, Andrew Luck, who set 170.2 in 2010, and Colt McCoy at 173.8. Some guys who cracked at 180 passer rating mark in an individual season include Marcus Mariota in 2014, James Winston in 2013, CJ Stroud in 2021, and RG3 in 2011. Above 190 is where you start to see seasons that were truly amazing, with guys like Baker Mayfield, who actually had two seasons which is pretty remarkable, Jalen Hurts in 2019, and Tua in 2018. Now there are only four guys who have been able to crack that 200 mark. Funny enough, they have all happened in the last five years. Here's where Joe Burrow sits with a passer rating of 202 in 2019. Mac Jones had a passer rating of 203.1 in 2020. Then you've got Grayson McCall who sits at 207.6. And above him, our guy, Jaden Daniels at 208 last year. The best season ever in terms of passing efficiency, and we didn't really notice. We all know passing efficiency isn't the end all be all, but in the world of statistics, he has had the greatest passing season of any FBS quarterback in the history of FBS quarterbacks. Now don't worry, I didn't expect myself to be saying that either, but I did, because that's what the numbers are telling me to say. Sorry Joe Burrow. Speaking of Joe Burrow, he is widely considered one of, if not the greatest collegiate quarterback ever, but do you want to know what he's not a part of? The most exclusive club in football. Yeah, I did just make it up. But there is only one member. You can't get in here with a fake ID, and you certainly can't get in here if you have some men for feet. That club is the 12,000 plus 3,000 club. It's a tough club to get into. Only one player has ever gained access to the benefits that you receive after being invited to join this prestigious club. Let's dive further into this. Going back as far as I possibly could, I put together this graph showing you every quarterback in college football that has passed for at least 10,000 yards and ran for at least 500 yards. As you can see, the majority of quarterbacks who met the requirements are in the bottom left portion of the chart as you would probably expect. You've got Case Keenum all the way on the right side of the chart, who had over 19,000 passing yards during his stint at the University of Houston from 2007 to 2011. Some other notable faces include Caleb Williams and Trevor Lawrence, who had nearly identical career numbers. Deshaun Watson and DTR had similar numbers as well. Here's where Drew Brees, Patrick Mahomes, and Russell Wilson all land. And Baker Mayfield is closer to the right side of the chart after having more than 14,000 career passing yards. Now this is where it gets interesting. Before gaining access to the 12,000 plus 3,000 club, you've got guys who are just outside of it in the 10,000 plus 2,000 club. There are seven dudes who are part of that club. And those guys are Colin Kaepernick, Desmond Ritter, RG3, Javon Boykin, Marcus Mariota, Frank Harris, and Dan Lefevre. These guys aren't on the same level as this last guy though. The 12,000 plus 3,000 club, limited access. And only one guy can say that he's officially in the club. Yep, you guessed it, Jaden Daniels. Having a career 12,750 passing yards along with 3,307 rushing yards, he is one of one and no one else really comes close. Colin Kaepernick ran for 4,000 plus yards, but wasn't even able to hit that 11,000 career passing yards mark. The only other guy that came close was Dan Lefevre, 95 passing yards off and 52 rushing yards off. That's extremely tough. Sorry, Dan. 
Jaden Daniels is an elite player with some elite numbers. He's also in some elite company, obviously with him winning the Heisman last year. He beat out Michael Penix Jr., Bo Nix, and Marvin Harrison Jr. A few other guys got first place votes, but these four were the clear front runners. Jaden is actually the only Heisman winner in this millennium to have averaged at least 410 total yards per game. He is the first to do so since 1990. In fact, here's where Marv, Bo Nix, and Michael Penix Jr. all rank in total yards per game. Moving left to right, you can also see how many total touchdowns each of these guys had. Obviously, non-quarterbacks will be lower in both total yards per game and total touchdowns throughout the year. Now here's where all the skill position Heisman winners are located. Punt return yards and kickoff return yards are both included as well as touchdowns that they may have gotten from those returns. The three guys that kind of stand out compared to the others are Reggie Bush, who needs no introduction, Rashawn Salam, the 1994 Heisman winner, rest in peace, and Ricky Williams, the 1998 Heisman winning running back from Texas. These three guys were all right around or above that 200 total yards per game, which is insane from a skill position player. Reggie had 19 touchdowns, Rashawn had 24 touchdowns, and Ricky had 28. Here's where Mark Ingram, Derrick Henry, and Devontae Smith land. Again, crazy years from these guys. Now here's how they compared every Heisman winning quarterback since 1989. Like I said previously, it's pretty obvious that they would have bigger numbers here. Now three guys whose numbers that I never really noticed until now are Eric Crouch, Gino Toretta, and Troy Smith. Looking at where these guys are placed, it makes you wonder how they won their Heisman trophies. There is no doubt that these guys are legends, but their numbers are right on par with all these running backs and wide receivers. Hmm. Above them are guys like Matt Leiner, Jason White, and Carson Palmer, who all won their Heismans in the early 2000s. Moving past 300 yards per game, you'll see Cam Newton, Tim Tebow, and Bryce Young. Getting closer to 400, you've got some studs in RG3, Lamar Jackson, and Johnny Football. Now this is where it gets crazy. Since 1989, there have been only four guys to crack 400 total yards per game. Joe Burrow just barely made the cut at 402.6, and he had one of the greatest years ever. In 1989 and 1990, you've got Andre Ware and Ty Detmer with some NCAA 14 numbers. Just below them is your 2023 Heisman winner, Jaden Daniels, the first guy since 1990 to hit at least 410 total yards per game. Looking at this chart, you can see that Jaden Daniels was truly remarkable in his Heisman winning season. It could definitely be a reflection of the era of football that we are currently in today, with offenses scoring 50 plus regularly. But this could also just be a reflection of Jaden Daniels' talent. When you think of some of the best Heisman winners ever and compare them to Jaden, Jaden tops all of them in nearly every metric and statistic that there is. We all knew Jaden Daniels was good, but I would bet a lot of things that you didn't think that he was one of, if not the greatest quarterback in the history of collegiate football. That's probably a big exaggeration, and there's other quarterbacks who can make a better case for that title, but last I checked, numbers don't lie, and Jaden Daniels was definitely spectacular.